What's up, guys? It's Dr. Angle here. Welcome to a Minecraft XP tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a really great XP farm that has been newly created thanks to the latest Infestation Potion in the 1.21 update. So, I hope you guys do enjoy. If you do, let me know down in the comments below, leave any suggestions. Let's get to how you guys are going to do this. So, all you guys are going to do is you guys are going to have these resources. You're going to need observers, you're going to need dispensers, you're going to need all these resources, as you guys can see here. And you can change, um, you can change these ones for whichever variant of glass or cobble or whatever building block you want to use. Or this all you guys are gonna simply go ahead and you guys are gonna go down and you're gonna do a T by T little hole here and you're gonna go down there about three blocks in order to do this. And then all you guys are simply gonna want to do is you guys are simply just going to want to go around on the inner part of the blocks. Just like so, and you're gonna create your pistons laid out exactly like this in your farm. So all you guys are then gonna want to do is you guys are simply gonna go ahead and you guys are gonna add in your redstone lamp, and then you guys are simply gonna go ahead and you're gonna add in your observer just like so, and you're gonna do the exact same all the way around with your. See here, we have then added in the actual layer around it of the border, so we're gonna add in like a little building block parameter around the top of it. So we've also added it in on the in-between bit. So once you guys have add, added a lever on this block here, you guys obviously will want to build a two block staircase down. You will want to build a staircase down or three block down staircase, which will lead you to your lever, which will then connect you up with your redstone, which will then allow you guys to do this. And once you guys have done this, you guys have to make sure that you actually hit one. So you guys have this going on. I would do a few for the sake of this tutorial, but it is and really, add really, really simple little shape. So you guys are going to do this like so. You're going to just follow exactly as I'm doing here in order to make this work. So then once you guys have got this into place, you guys can actually see it works. And you guys can see, you guys have your little flow, like just like so. And then it should flow all the way down into your little system here. And then once you guys have done that, you should have a button. So it stops the water from flowing anymore. And then you guys, you guys are going to go ahead and you're going to go five up on all your glass sections. So you're going to just go ahead and you're going to add five glass all the way along. And you guys are simply going to just do this all the way along. And I've got this little foundation all made. you got to have, you got to add in your little dispenser. You then actually have to add in a building block here instead of that. That is why I put that there. So all you guys then will have to do is you simply go around here and you just place your button and then you will put in this one, you will actually put the dispenser of what you want to do. So you will put the infestation potion in there. And obviously then, one of the iron bars per each side, just like so. And then all you guys are simply going to do is you guys are simply going to want to do that. And then you guys are simply just going to want to get rid of the actual Thing. Once you guys so you have removed the water source, you are ready to go on to the next added in your slabs and you guys have added in your iron column like so. So let's add in the iron column real quick. And yes, and then there you go. You guys can see here, you got to make sure that it doesn't go into the block that you're trying to place. So all you guys have to do is you guys just break that and then it should just fall into the little trap here. And then you guys simply all you need to do is you simply just need to add in this. So you just simply go ahead and you add in this and you add in your water bucket and you add in your button to make sure this works. Make sure your game mode is set to obviously not peaceful. Make sure it's not in peaceful because otherwise this will not work. And then all you guys simply have to do is you guys simply just do you go over here. You click your little button. Once you guys have your infestation potion, so make sure you have your infestation potion free ready. And then all you guys have to do here is you guys simply just add it in. And you press this. And then all you guys simply have to do is you simply just press. Make sure you guys turn it off as close to 50 seconds as possible. And then once you guys have got enough, and as you can, you can see here, turn it off as close to 50 seconds as possible. So if you guys actually do... So hopefully, there you go, as you guys can see here, there should be quite a lot of XP.
So as you guys can see here, this is actually working. This is obviously on a much smaller scale because obviously uh, a lot of them died before this. Um, but as you can see, it does produce a lot of XP depending on how many silverfish you were able to spawn before your iron golem either died or you healed it. Make sure you guys are healing your iron golem so you can get the maximum use out of this. Um, but if you guys did enjoy, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe if you guys are new and enjoy. I want to see more. Have a great rest of your day, guys. And... Goodbye.